Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Overtly Mocking Games. OMG! OMG! This is Michael T. Bradley. This is Kix Maddox. And we are uh, hip deep uh, in uh, snow. Yes. Because the Fahrenheit is dropping. Or whatever. Uh, let's just let's just get right back into it, what do you say? Let's do it. Loading! There's some... Okay, some pillars. Oh, we jumped in a window. She's so disaffected. You found the child. I'm not sure I trust you. Give me my like sugar cookies. Space for the next ten thousand years depends on the fate of that child. A new golden age, peace and security, or the reign of ice, of terror and death. Terror. We were right to have chosen you. But anyway, sugar cookies. Manipulate? Manipulate, Agatha. You You've been using me from the start, haven't you? You manipulated me so I'd find the girl for you. Manipulated isn't really the word. Let's say guided. We intervened. Hand puppeted. Because we knew you could lead us to her. This child, why is she so important? At the dawn of time, a prophet announced that one day... Whatever, you're not my dad. <laughs> Absolutely pure. She would come and reveal a secret. And She's brain dead, but her soul is pure. <laughs> he who possessed this answer would gain unlimited power. What happened at the? Do you have Netflix? I don't remember anything after the roller coaster collapsed. You didn't survive the fall. Oh, yes. We found your body and we resuscitated you. The truth is that. You are dead, Lucas. Um, I that would be like a Jacob's Ladder reveal, except for the fact that like it happened right. 20 minutes ago, and he's been acting They're dead ever since. Notions. You gave your life so that humanity could survive. Or Angel Heart? Is he dead in Angel Heart too? I can't even remember now. It was Angel who the Indigo Child, and you succeeded. No, he's not dead in Angel Heart. He's the devil. You've accomplished your mission well. He's the devil? I thought he just encountered the devil. No, I don't trust you. Jade stays with me. He murders everybody. A fatal error. I don't remember. I'm going to have to eliminate. <laughs> it was a better movie though. Yeah. I like both of those movies. They're a good double feature. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh god, it's Doctor Manhattan or a yellow thing. When we brought you back to life, we added a Doctor Chicago. It's impossible to kill him. Got the pecs on him. Already dead. Yeah. I can, however, annihilate you. A simple touch from me, and you will be erased forever. There's no use trying to resist. I have control of you now. Whoa, Agatha, you just suddenly got really sexy there. What? Wow. Has it ever worked to just tell someone there's no use resisting? I... You know, I can't imagine it. I okay, so I'm really baffled here. Like, do we want to fight this thing? Because it wants Agatha to be the to usher in the good age, right? There's yet another group. So I guess if uh, if Tyler had stayed with you, that'd be Tyler doing that. Rather than apparently the guy who was upset over Tyler owing him a hundred bucks. Well, that's weird. Don't, don't see that every day. Wish I could jump like that. Oh, right, I can. Underground secret base. Negative uh, 55 Celsius? Is that... That can't be accurate. Like, is that survivable? Uh, it is, but it's really damn cold. Because, uh, negative 40 is where Celsius and Fahrenheit meet up. So it's colder than negative 40, which... Yeah, it's survivable, but not wearing your casual LLB winter coat. I want McDonald's. Can we have McDonald's? I saw game. McDonald's on the way here. Yeah, 
I bet you didn't know going into this game that there was going to be a secret base. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. Any game without a secret base is lacking. Missy has a tattoo. Why can't I get a tattoo? It's on my leg. Nobody's going to see it. Look, I'm just I'm just going to draw it in ink on my ankle and you're not even going to notice it. It's a card. Oh, he missed a card. Son of a bitch. This game is not complete now. If you get all the bonus cards, then she'll get they'll, she'll love you like a father. Just through Stockholm syndrome. Jade? How did you find me? That hey, do you like the color jade? Where are we? We're in an abandoned subway station, I guess. So, what do we do now? Jade. <laughs> Looks like we don't have much choice. But follow him. I'm naming her Jade, after my favorite stripper. You're not my real mom. Lucas, what are you doing here? You're safe and sound. Marcus, how did you end up here? That's what I asked. I'm a bum now. They came looking for me. They explained everything, Lucas. I know now that you weren't crazy. I hope you can forgive me for doubting you. I couldn't possibly have known it. Oh, uh, hey, is that is that Cheetos down there? I, I'd like what some Cheetos. About? Our host will explain everything. So the people who want to use the Welcome Indigo to Child to freeze the, the world, uh, the people who want to use the Indigo Child to bring fire. on a new golden realm, and this is the resistance to both, I think. The the don't manipulate us, bro, group. Who are you? <laughs> Why did you help us? We are the Invisibles. The Invisibles. The That's time, a we've been comic book. Observing the yeah. Land. Our mission is to ensure that the indigo child doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Also based on the actual invisible college. Yeah. There's another clan besides the orange clan, isn't there? The thing that took on Agatha's form wanted the child too. Yeah, we've only recently become aware of the purple clan. And purple? We know almost nothing about them. Apparently that's what Agatha was part of. Then why was she yellow when she became a using the net thing. during the ages. Uh, they I... want the indigo child in order to become the dominant life form on the planet. First the dinosaurs, then the dinosaurs? <laughs> artificial intelligence. Yeah, I've seen dinosaurs before, just sitting there milking their coffee with lipstick on the rim. You're the ones who sent me that email on Kirsten, aren't you? Normally we never intervene directly, but it seemed necessary to help you see that Lucas wasn't really guilty of murder. Is we there something he weird about the back of his hat? Uh, I like think there's something weird about his eye. Who yeah. is really behind the Orange Clan? Nobody knows for sure. It's said that there are five. Five to control the world. Administration, police, army, finance, the media. They control everything. Oh, he's a Twi'lek. Over the centuries, <laughs> the Orange Clan has built an empire that runs the entire world. Why Orange Clan? You mentioned the clans. How many of them are there? In ancient times, every kingdom had its clan. But then they began... How ancient are we talking here? What the hell from the west, is... The oh my god. You mean that... The prophecy has been all that has motivated the most powerful since the very beginning. They fought with one another with the sole hope of improving their chances of finding the Indigo Child. It puts the history of the world in a new light, doesn't it? No! No, it doesn't! It, that, w nothing... What is the message of the prophecy? It the Celestine prophecy? Uh, Let me read to you from the book. The child will have the answer to all. It was 47. God damn it. 
child has not been heard before the final Here is a gun. Humanity has ceased to exist. Kind of pointed at Lucas in the shot. So, what do we do now? It was a thought balloon shot. The gun dreams of Lucas. Who doesn't? Where she'll deliver her message. Enjoy my crotch. <laughs> Where do we find this Chromosaurus? Chromosaurus? Oh, jeez. The closest could be found on an old military base. I am so excited to find a Chromosaurus. That's where I was born. My parents were scientists. Oh, that's how he's infected with the Chroma because he found the Chromosaurus when he went into that hangar. In the 50s, Shouldn't his brother have been affected too? It turned out to be a no, remember he distracted the guard. Right. Before she wastes away and dies without having delivered her message. When do we leave? In two hours. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. Gasoline. Seems likely that the orange and purple clans will be waiting. Yeah, I find the back of his head really disturbing. They will stop at Understandable. It's like a Mohican through a hat, I guess. Is I don't even like horses. I guess that's what they're going for. Hang on. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there. I suggest you get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. He's Popeye. Tomorrow may well be the last day of the human race. <laughs> are you fat or just pregnant? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Your adolescent girl impression is, I'm is tired, Carl. stellar. I'm going to take Bogart's advice and <laughs> get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm going to wander around a bit and join you later. Join, join him? That seems a little okay. Maybe they did bang. Who knows? Man, I hope Tyler's enjoying Florida. Hey, hate you. Hate you too. Freezy Pop, that's my name for you, Freezy Pop. <laughs> Maybe she's gonna go find the bonus card now. Maybe. An old radio. If I could get it to work, maybe I could get some news from up top. Seems to and be now for the shit. news. It's damn it's cold. Batteries and <laughs> it's cold. It's damn cold. Flashlight. Maybe if I had some batteries, I could get it to work. Oh, a train. Maybe if there were. <laughs> Steal the batteries out of one for the radio. Batteries for the radio. Classic. Maybe if there were power and the world was in better shape and I knew how to drive a subway car, I could drive this around. That would be fun, though. Oh, look, a brick wall. If I were a bricklayer. And had lots of spare time. Where are you? The radio is nowhere back near there. the radio now. I'm gonna throw the batteries in the fire. Oh, maybe you have to do this, or else you're too cold to replace the batteries or something. She's feeling pretty chipper for being in the middle of an ages-old conspiracy all of a sudden. <laughs> you know. She's not having to, like, navigate a library in the dark, so it's all smooth sailing for her. It is kind of dark down here. But it's not confined. I... I feel as if Angelo Badalamenti is just kind of given up at this point. This will work as an antenna for the radio. Oh, an antenna. <sighs> Nothing says uh, end of the world prophecy like fetch quests. Yes. I guess on the plus side, it's been a little while since we've seen a quick time event, right? Yeah. Actual gamifying going on here, sort of. Yeah, sort of. Even if it is kind of a cliche quest. There we go. Should work now. Oh no, the and button now the is news. missing. Two thirds of the country are 
Hey, welcome to Wacky TJ and the Squid. Wherever they can find it in an effort to keep warm. In a few days, the planet will revert to the Stone Age. What? Only a few cities can still count on. It's a bullshit thing to say. I don't. Either I don't understand the Stone Age or they don't. In order to all of the oceans of the globe are now almost entirely frozen over. The Atlantic Ocean is closing up and there are only Can you find some hip hop in the middle of the Pacific which haven't been covered over by the ice flow. Free bird. If the temperature continues to fall. It seems like Anything by y'all rule would be great. And I'm telling you the truth. This cold wave is a divine punishment for all of humanity's sins. God is It's funny how all media preachers are southern. <laughs> Well, we kind of ran out of shots here, so um, enjoy the same shots you've already seen, I guess. She's really staying on the Southern Preacher for far longer than need be. Apocalypse only lost her five points. She's a pretty calm customer. Like a fifth season of Supernatural. Well, it's the apocalypse, but anyway, here's a Monster of the Week episode. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Hey, I was kind of an important character there for. Okay, bye. Little Bow Chica Wow Wow with Lucas here. The dead guy. So this is kind of like Twilight. Yes. Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. You're dead. You don't sleep anymore. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? Fields, forests, cities. Everything will disappear and there'll be ice. And what's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed. Like, like nothing important it's ever happened. arms aren't quite Are you right. Yeah. Not anymore. Don't talk that way. We're gonna find that Chromosaurus and write it. <laughs> Sounds like a child wrote that part. We didn't meet under better circumstances. <laughs> Maybe if things had turned out differently. Don't kiss the dead man. This is out of nowhere too, really. Frozen. Yep. Your lips are like ice. Really just at any point now, anything could happen. Marcus could be like, let's have a threesome. <laughs> Ew. Oh really? They're gonna they're gonna fuck like with with the fucking people right nearby? And I mean what about And he's ice cold, that can't be comfortable. Also, the indigo girl is like just a ways away, isn't she? Are we raising mystical energy, or just a diversion for all the straight guys in the audience? I... I don't... And why isn't this a quick time event? When we had sex earlier, it was a quick time event. This is our reward for making it this far in the game, I guess. So, if he's, a uh... God, do we have to sneak past those guards again? I hope not. So if he's dead, do they have... I mean, does he have, like, perpetual priapism from rigor mortis? <laughs> I don't know. Like, can they just go all night? I hope they use protection or she could catch a funereal disease. He knew the hangar was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. Look, it was really, always burning since the world's been turning. Know it. Nobody can see flames before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. <laughs> it changed something in Lucas. That's nonsense. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. Don't you see? If it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have powers. There's a difference, powers. John. 
I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? What are you doing there? Lucas? Lucas? For now, I think ending on another gaping child face, because that's what this game loves, apparently. Um, when we come back, the thrilling conclusion to Indigo Prophecy... Will the indigo child save the world? What's up with Lucas? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. And we are... <laughs>